Starlink and Peplink are teaming up with an announcement this week that Peplink is becoming the first Starlink authorized technology provider. What does that mean? We got the details. Hi, I'm Chris from the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a bit of an update on SpaceX's Starlink and Peplink, one of our favorite cellular integrated routers. Now, SpaceX's Starlink is a wonderful way to keep connected. It's uh, become an essential part of the connectivity situation for many RVers and cruisers, but Starlink is not known for being completely reliable. And there are dropouts, there are variations in speed based on congestion, and particularly for RVers who are going to places where there are trees and obstructions in the sky, those dropouts can be pretty significant. And well, if you don't have that Starlink signal combined with something else, that can lead to knocking you offline. And one of the best ways that people have gotten around that is by using Peplink's speed fusion bonding technology to combine Starlink with cellular or cam and campground or marina Wi-Fi or other connections or even combining multiple Starlinks together. This has become a very, very common solution. And well, it looks like now Starlink is recognizing this and is actually officially partnering with Peplink so they can work more closely together to, well, better enable people deploying solutions like this. The companies have announced that they're having a technology partnership alliance that will allow Peplink to resell Starlink gear, and they're going to be working more closely together at the engineering level to basically let Peplink routers and Starlink receivers talk to each other more intimately. This has already started with the Peplink firmware 8.4 that came out um, late last year that had some uh, preliminary um, Starlink integrations where you can turn on and off and stow a Starlink remotely via Peplink's in control. And there's a few features that were in that firmware that were suggested by Starlink Engineering. But now that there's an official relationship between these companies, they're going to be working more closely on integrating their technology. So we're looking forward to seeing how that's going to benefit all of us RVers and cruisers. Now, this alliance is primarily focused on the higher end of the market, particularly at first, the only Starlink hardware that Peplink um, partners can resell directly is the Starlink flat high performance system, the 2499, the very expensive system, not the consumer priced Starlink standard system. So it is the hardware is focused on the higher end, but the software improvements that will be in the pipeline will benefit all of us, whether you're getting the hardware directly from Starlink or you're getting it from a solutions provider that is doing bundled setups with Peplink and Starlink. And you know, some of the initial customers that this is focused on is like the cruise industry right now. Quite a few cruise ships are switching to Starlink. They're combining you know, sometimes as much as a dozen Starlink systems all together. And behind the scenes, they're actually always using uh, Peplink routers to bond those systems together. So now, this official alliance is basically going to acknowledge what has been unofficially happening for all these solution providers. And well, all of us normal people will hopefully benefit from software improvements in the months and years ahead. And it's kind of cool to see these two companies that we love so much working together. That's the update. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.